Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report from Hindustan Times, the DRDO has approached Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi for the approval of twin-engine advanced medium combat aircraft AMCA after the design of fifth generation stealth fighter has been frozen by Aeronautical Development Authority ADA. Now this is an expected news as based on our discussion with AD officials during Aero India 2023 the CDR for AMC was expected to be completed by the end of March 2023 The CDR of the aircraft is the final step towards realizing the complete structure including the integration of weapon systems ADA has planned to develop five prototypes of AMC for flight testing, which will cost close to Rs 900 crore each. However, this cost will reduce further when fighter jet will enter the full-fledged production. Now, since AMC is an indigenous fighter, it would be still 50 to 60 percent cheaper than the imported fighters in its category. At present, the development cost of AMC is estimated to be around Rs 15,000 crore, for which DIDU has approached the Cabinet Committee on Security. The DIDO's decision to approach CCS for funding comes at a time when PM Modi has asked organization to focus on its core competence and avoid time delays and cost overruns. During Defense Expo 2022, the AMCS project director AK Ghosh had said that the first prototype of AMC is expected to roll out in three years and the first flight could take another year and a half. And these timelines are subject to funding approval. In order to fast track, the development of AMCA and IMRH, these programs have been placed under SPV or a Special Purpose Vehicle Model which involves private players as a majority stakeholder. The idea behind giving majority stake to private players is to speed up the procurement process. This will avoid bureaucratic delay in PSU's procurement process and reduce the cost of development. The SPV partners will be involved in prototype development, series production and providing life time cycle support to the Indian Air Force. It has also been reported that DIDO must deliver the AMCA on its timeline or else Indian Air Force will be running short of squadron in the next decade, which is true. This will force government to go for emergency acquisition of fighter jets. Taking this in account, the Modi government is also pursuing engine design, development and joint production with France and also the possibility of manufacturing Rafale fighters in India for export to other countries. The US has also offered to shift its F-18 production line to India with an offer to acquire F-15 EX fighters. Now, if we talk about LCO Mark II, last September, the Cabinet Committee on Security has sanctioned 9,000 crore rupees for its development. The fighter jet will be powered by GF414 engine and is expected to roll out in 2024 after completion of the air intake certification, which is going to happen in France in the month of May or June 2023. Since air intake of Mark II is similar to Mark I, the DRD is confident about bagging the certification and rolling out the first prototype by next year. LCA Mark II will add significant power points to Indian Air Force capability. The mission endurance for fighting a war is 57 minutes for LCA Tejas Mark I, but it will be 120 minutes for LCA Mark II. The Mark II will have 11 hard points with weapon carrying capacity of 6.5 tons. The fighter jet will have capability to carry 8 beyond visual range missiles. It can also carry heavy standoff weapons such as SCALP, which is an air-to-ground long-range deep strike missile. It has been reported that government has asked DRDO to stick to project timelines and avoid delays in the name of first-time development. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.